Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone. We are about 30 subscribers away from 10,000, so the very next video that I'm going to post this week will be the information on how you can win a USG or a Unify Switch 8 150 watt. So thank you again to everyone, and we do have a lot of videos that are going to be coming up. Uh, it's going to touch a lot of design, um, some business practices, stuff like that, but I want to get a couple more technical videos out uh, before we get to that. So what this video is going to be about is what a lag is and how to create a lag. All right, so I want to let you know that this, uh, actually, so this, creating a lag, what you see is I have the, the beta controller here. I'm not going to go over any any of the functionality of that, but what we're going to concentrate on is the lag and uh, creating a lag should work the same in the 5.4.16 release as it does in the beta and so on and so forth. So this should be um, fairly universal. If it's not, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so what we've got, we've got our controller and we have our lab switch. And we have lab switch 2, which is a uh, Unify switch 8 PoE 60 watt. Then what we've got down here is we have our our HD. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adopt our HD in. And it's provisioning. And while that's provisioning, we'll talk about what a lag is. So a lag, L-A-G, link aggregation group. It allows you to take between one and four gigabit Ethernet connections and make them act as one connection. So you aggregate the bandwidth. Now, uh, connections can fall out, so you could have four of these one gig connections in a lag and have a four gig lag and one could fall out and you could still have a three gig lag. So there's some redundancy built in there as well. So it looks like we're still provisioning. So let's talk about the steps that we've got to cover. First, first on the HD access point we will have to enable link aggregation and then we will have to create the lag on the switch. So those, those are the two steps. And once we do that, then we have a theoretical throughput uh, from that HD of uh, two gigabits. So from the HD to the switch, we would have that, that theoretical uh, two gigabits. So I'm going to give this a name. And I'm going to call this Lab HD, and we'll save that. So that came over. So we're in the configuration of the access point. So we're going to come down here to network. And right here under port aggregation, we have this thing uh, that says enable port aggregation. So we're going to check that. And it says make sure to enable port aggregation on the downstream switch after enabling port aggregation on the AP. So we're going to go ahead and queue these changes. And we'll apply that. So that's going to apply that to the HD. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our switch and uh, the first port that we're using on lab switch 2 and this is that 60 watt 8 PoE the first uh, port that we're using is port 5 and we want to also use port 6 so we're going to come over here and we're going to go to ports and right now we're going to click edit on port 5 we're going to expand the advanced option and then you can see right here under operation do we have switching mirroring, mirroring or aggregate so we want to click aggregate and now it wants to know which ports and it 5 you can't go any different than 5 because you edited port 5 and now we can go between 6 and 8 so we're going to go to port 6 because there's nothing plugged in there and we're going to go ahead and apply that and so we're going to take our Ethernet cable and we are going to plug into the uh, HD, the secondary port on the HD, and then we're going to plug into the switch. I don't know if you can see this real quick or not, but I have in the back of my HD, now I'm going to have two cables going back to the 60 watt switch. So, okay. so we have plugged that in. And so now you can see that our uh, lab HD is connected. And if we refresh again, the lab switch, lab switch 2 is still provisioning. 
And once again, I think that that was just me being impatient because I paused the video, went to check a few things, and uh, everything went green. So we should be good to go. So we should have a uh, total, th you know, theoretical throughput on that lag of, of 2 gigabits. So that's it for tonight. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, please share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the affiliate links that are down there in the description. That'll keep a few bucks rolling into the uh, channel and keep uh, lab gear coming in. And like I said, come back for the next video. That's where the rules for the giveaway are going to be. And we'll see you at that next video.